everybody welcome to my channel today I am back to my Marguerite Miller collage challenge once again I'm two weeks behind I owe for last week and this week so I'm at least going to try to do this one maybe I'll get the second one done um, but wanted to do something I finished that um, uh, industrial grunge steampunk what started out to be a lap book turned into like an ephemera book and a journal um so sort of in between projects trying to decide i have so many things that i do want to do what i want my next project to be so i thought i would catch up on this i have my um hashtag 52 tags handmade tag to do yet this week um so I thought I would work on things like that, sort of clear my head. It has not been the best of days for me today. Uh, seems like everything I touch just has exploded. So I'm hoping that this doesn't do the same. But anyway, this is for actually last week. Um, something wet, any kind of tag, a pattern with stripes, something silver, a barcode, and the bonus is an image from a magazine. So, with that being said, I just feel like I, uh, I pulled out, like, this cup of coffee. I have this water here. I also have this book that has these, it's a coloring book that I've never used, that has these glasses of beverages, which I wish I had one right now. <laughs> That's also something wet. Um, I just picked out some things with stripes um, that I may or may not use. I, I have a barcode. I thought there was something, oh, something silver. So I had this little metal element that I thought maybe I would use. I don't know. I might change, I might change all this. Um, uh, an image from a magazine could have, could be you know, something here, or I saw these berries, and I thought maybe I could use those, so the only magazines I currently have in my home are, like, Somerset Studios, or the Food Network uh, magazine that I used to have a subscription to, so my choices of magazine images is pretty slim, so anyway, um, that's what I have out, but for some reason, I'm feeling sort of like I want to do something, um, vintage -y, you know? Um, I don't know. So I have my neutrals here. I thought maybe I would start with just some kind of neutral background. But I sort of like, I like that. I just don't know where this is going to lead. You know what? I'm going to start with this, I think. I think I might be able to, yeah. Since I have pink stripes out, I don't know how my something wet is going to incorporate with this. But I think I want to use this. Do I want the birdie on there? I'm just going to do whatever I feel like. <laughs> uh, it's been one of those days, you know. this out. Maybe I'll cover the whole thing with this. I don't know. So I hope your days are going better than mine. Mine's just been very frustrating. You know, sometimes you try to help situations and then you do stupid things that just just do stupid things that just make don't make the situation worse but make you look like a complete idiot for even trying to help that's the type of experience i've had today it's really had me quite ex upset most of the day but 
I am going to let it go. I like that. If I do nothing else, at least I like that. Watched a little bit of videos, well, this morning, like one. <laughs> I have not had time for any of my normal crafting routine, you know. I've been fitting it in as what I've been doing. And even with watching YouTube videos and all, it's become very difficult to find the time to do it. And anyway... I watched a Nick the Booksmith video. I think it's from a couple weeks ago. I don't know specifically when she put this video out, but it was a challenge on, um, and I don't know how much time's left, but it's something I'm rolling around in my head. Could I, could I accomplish that now that I know at least a couple weeks has lapsed? Um, but it's, if I were a journal, and you're supposed to make some kind of journal that represents you, you know what I mean? Something about you, whether it be the types of pages that are used, or, you know, if you were a journal, what would you want to be? So I've been given that some thought. I may or may not partake, just because, once again, I'm so late to the game. I like that picture. <laughs> that paper. I like that paper. So that's going to be the background I work off of. This is going to be this is going to be something I can tell already. So, let's see. I think I want to start by cutting some of these berries out just to see. I just like the idea of using these berries probably should have done this before I started this, but I'm just going to roughly cut them out. You mean roughly. The sun's shining, so I guess that's important, right? My husband will be coming home for too long. shoot. That reminds me, I have something I have to do. <laughs> well, I'll do this one and then turn the camera off. Totally forgot. What's new? Goes right along with my entire day. I'll probably just mess it up anyway. very good because now I feel like I'm rushing.
let's just see where I spend a whole bunch of time on this. I could use just a little bit of berries. I mean, it is an image from the magazine. Don't have to use the whole thing, do we? Well, we'll see. Looks pretty bright up against that paper, but it's an image from a magazine. Let's pick out my something wet. I want to try with I'm going to see stuff out before turning the camera on so I apologize for that. There's my something wet. A pattern with stripes. I don't know if this constitutes a pattern with stripes. It has stripes going through. I think I'm going to use it because that other stuff is blaringly bright. birdie on there but it doesn't have to show. You got to do a little bit of the stripe pattern. the berries? I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to see if I cut these apart. If I like them anymore. Am I supposed to use something wet, a tag, something silver, a barcode? Well, those berries don't look how. Ooh, maybe I could. My berry picture is just getting smaller and smaller. 
time I get done cutting around things, so I'll end up with one red berry. I have light. Light. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Maybe over there. It's just blaring off of that magazine page. Something wet. Oh, I need a tag. A pattern with stripes. Something silver, a barcode, an image from a magazine. So if I add a tag, I'm just going to do that. I could play with this for hours and come up with something much worse. berries now. <laughs> I could hang the berries off the side of the glass. <laughs> That's what I'll do. That was an evil laugh, wasn't it? Now, how did I have them? Something like this. Sort of wanted that under things. Of course, I've already glued everything down. I don't like to. Let me put you on hold just a second. Okay, I am back. That was just the husband telling me he's making a fast stop on his way home. Yeah, I'll do that. Maybe. Am I getting everything too low on the page, though? Let's think this out, Sheila. Hmm. I don't know what else I would put up at the top. I have a tag, or a, yeah, a tag yet. That I could, or... Oh, I should have put that up higher. Then I could have had this down here. See? I get hasty and think, I'll just do it. And then I get frustrated with myself. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Well, maybe. Ooh. Might get lucky. Try to peel this back some. I'm going to put my barcode up there. Turn around so you can tell what it is. I'm going to need some different glue for that metal element if I use that. It's sort of thick. Some of the 
this. Let's bring some of this glue into the mixture. That's where I tore that up. I'll sort of like that up there. But page certainly doesn't look balanced. I wonder if I add some more berries. Let's just cut some berries out. Sort of feel like. come off. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not, huh? No. Not feeling these berries. They're like too straight. They're in a straight line. And see if there's some way. Maybe if I cut this out. Does that help or make it worse? stand up and look at it. Things always look different when I stand up for some reason. <laughs> if I cut these out. like that. Then I feel like my page is sort of balanced. Even though it looks absolutely ridiculous. Now how did I have that? I had this up here, right? have that. Well, it's going that way now. So what are we missing? We're just missing a tag, which I could make my tag. I could make a tag. Let's just see something. I just had an idea. You know how my ideas always go haywire. Let's see. Oh, hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. Maybe it's this color. Uh, maybe not. Well, let me just cut this out. I'm just going to cut a tag shape. I was thinking maybe if it hung down. Hmm. I don't like the way it. If it's a 
short tag. I don't like that either. Hmm. And I've got this up here. I don't know if I'm going to use the tag. pieces of paper are starting to drive me nuts. Isn't that crazy? Like once I cleaned and organized my craft room again, now when I get these little shreds of paper everywhere, it drives me out of my mind. Just this way. I just want to see like if that was to hang down further, would I like it? You know what? <coughs> Stop. I just want to cut this real quick. I want a straight edge on this. And I do not have a straight edge. Take your time, Sheila, and do it right the first time. Okay, I'm just wondering. shorter. Well, you know what else could be our metal element? Do I like that or not? I don't know if I like it. I sort of like the fact that something's up there. Well, my tag doesn't have to go all the way up to the edge of the paper. I don't know if I like that. I sort of liked that up there. You know what? I'm just going to glue it down. I'm just going to be done with it, right? That seems to be my motto right now. Just do it. I don't know. I think there's a major tennis shoe company that has that same motto. I wonder if that's how they came about. They just had the poor attitude that I have today. So I'll just do it. Let's put that there. Now for this, you know what I'm going to grab, hang on one second.
grab my glossy accents here for this. Let that set and meld. It's going to be a heavy page. There's some stuff away. That comes on my scrap bin. Just letting that dry there a second. I moved my piece around so I got that. I think that counts as a tag, but I did all items, so if one doesn't count, I did the bonus. All right, so there's the first one, right? Should I put something more on? My tag. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Something wet, any kind of tag, a pattern with stripes. Here's some stripes here. I don't know. Well, there's a pattern with stripes on that too. Um, something silver, a barcode, and the bonus is an image from a magazine. So I achieved all. <laughs> all right. I'm going to turn you off for just a bit. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the next one. See you in a little while. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I was just editing my video because I did video this and this. And it's such a long video that I decided I'll just share this on video and show you what I did for this week. This week was something that starts with the letter N, which I stamped numbers. A piece of postcard, either side. Um, a piece of coloring book page, which is this sign here that I cut out. A measurement of something, even if you write it out. So I just wrote out the measurement of this circle, which is three inches in diameter. Something in a geometric shape besides a rectangle, which is my circle. And the bonus was something that represents summer, which I feel this post, which we see a lot at the beaches and what have you, arrows to the beach, the bar, and the pool. If that doesn't represent summer, I don't know what does. So, I am once again caught up on my Marguerite Miller collage planner. So, that's a great feeling. Lots of accomplishments this week. <laughs> well, two. <laughs> so, there you have it. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. And happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.